People are getting sick. Destitutions in flood hit Pakistan. In the midst of swamp of flood water, hundreds of people who fled one of the most hit district of Pakistan pitched tents on the only high ground they could find, on the raised bank of the Samula Sangi Canal. They had left the Jarafbad region of Pakistan, impoverished Balochistan province, as a monsoon deluge that authorities say has claimed more than 1,000 lives since June swept away their homes and livelihood. The Pakistani Prime Minister Shahab Sharif, visiting Jarahab on Sunday, was told that at least 75 percent of Balochistan, which covers half of Pakistan's land area, was partially or completely affected by flood. He said he had never seen much flood in his lifetime and called for help from the international community. We are facing devastating, he said. One of those on the bank of the canal was Jamali, 32, a student from Islamabad, who a few weeks ago had returned to his hometown of Gandaka in Jarahabad district as a volunteer to help flood victims, but on Saturday was forced to leave himself. We packed our bags and took valuable things and left on tractors when the water was just four feet. Now the water level has risen to eight, and people can't take tractors. He said that initial roads were intact and linked the regions with the rest of the province, but now roads and bridges were destroyed or inaccessible. Balo Tristan already had some of the worst infrastructure and communication in Pakistan, a fact that will make it recovery even longer and harder. Yamali said the flood of 2022 was worse. Then of 2010, the last major moonslid flood, due to the nonstop rain, he said local people had never seen so much water where they live. People had built their houses after flood of 2010. Now all have submerged in water, and mud houses have been destroyed. He said, "We see dead animals and livestock floating in the water. People are getting sick and need clean drinking water and food. We are getting donation." But that's not enough, according to local media. On Sunday, more than 83,000 livestock could had died in the previous 24 hours. On the other side of the canal, over a bridge in Sidon Province, where further flooding is feared in coming days as waters of the swollen Indus River move south. In Nazdumin, 65. A retired police officer who lost his mud house in the heavy downpour was another who had taken refugees in the tents on the canal bank. He said 90 percent of the houses where he lived has been demolished and their livestock has died. We are in dire need of medicines, dry ration tents, and medical camps. We appeal to the government to help us. He said, a government official. He requested anonymity. Said some parts of Balochistan province had become inaccessible due to heavy rain, and were now facing food shortage. I've been told that two children have died due to hunger in March, a town near Quetta, which lost the road connection with another parts of the province. He said. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.